In this video, I'll demonstrate how to enable 802.11R and 802.11K roaming with the Ruckus Cloud Wi-Fi portal using a computer browser user interface. The IEEE 802.11K standard reduces the time required to roam by allowing a client to more quickly determine which AP it should roam to next and how. The AP the client is currently connected to will provide it with neighbor report information regarding neighboring APs and their channels. These neighbor reports help a wireless client to efficiently scan for a target AP when roaming. The result is that it reduces the time required to roam by allowing the client to more quickly determine which AP it should roam to next and how. As a note, roaming is always a client's decision. 802.11R, Fast BSS Transition, abbreviated FT, also called Fast Roaming, allows a client device to roam quickly in environments implementing WPA2 security by optimizing the key exchange. In addition with WPA2 Enterprise, 802.11R ensures that client devices do not need to re-authenticate to the RADIUS server every time they roam from one access point to another. After a client connects to the first AP on the network, the client is vouched for. When a client device roams to a new AP, information from the original association is passed to the new AP to provide the client with credentials. The new AP therefore knows that this client has already been approved by the authentication server and does not need to repeat the whole authentication exchange again. 11R works with both pre-shared key and 802.1x authentication methods. As a note, client support is required for 11R to work. Some older client devices don't have drivers that support it. It is recommended in PSK and 802.1x enterprise networks. Both 11K and 11R take different measures to reduce the time required for a client to roam between APs in the same network and thus reduce the impact of roaming on performance. Ruckus Cloud Wi-Fi supports both standards. So let's demonstrate how this is set up. From the dashboard, if I go to my networks, and I'm going to select one of my PSK networks. So in this case, my network is called Awani Guest, and I will edit that network. And on the menu tabs at the top, I'll go to the Advanced tab, which is where I set up my roaming. If I scroll down, you'll see that Enable 802.11k Neighbors Reports is selected. And if I roll over the question mark, it'll give me description, and it says that it enhances roaming by providing a list of neighbor APs to the client device. APs build a neighbor AP list via background scanning, and when the client plans to roam, it will request this list from the AP. This list is then used to perform efficient scanning to find a roaming candidate. So it's a default setting to be enabled. And then if I want to enable 11R, I could also tick that. And if I roll over that question mark, it says that 11R Fast BSS Transition is a fast roaming protocol that reduces the number of frame exchanges required for roaming and allows the clients and APs to reuse the master keys obtained during a prior authentication exchange. 11R is most helpful for 802.1x networks. Client support is required for 11R to work. If you enable 11R, you also have another parameter here called Mobility Domain ID. A mobility domain ID is used by 11R to define the scope of the network in which 11R fast roam is supported. You can think of it as a roaming domain ID. Master keys are shared within the same mobility domain, such as an SSID with the same name spread across several APs that allow clients to support fast roaming. It just makes sure that your encryption keys are available to your neighbor AP sharing the same network SSID name. So, for example, if you have two SSIDs, one named Enterprise 1 and one called Enterprise 2, the mobility ID for each SSID would be different if 11R was enabled on both SSIDs. So I'm going to cancel this, and I'm going to go back to my networks, and let's take a look at one of our AAA networks. So I have Enterprise AAA, and if I go Edit Networks on this, and I go to my Advanced tab, and I scroll down to the bottom, You'll see that in this case, I've enabled both 11K and 11R, and I have a mobility domain of 1 in this case. And just to show one other example, I'll cancel this out, go back to my networks again. If I have a Cloud Path network, and I edit that network, go to the Advanced tab and scroll down, you'll see that I have these options also available 
if I'm configuring a CloudPath network. So as you can see, setting up and enabling 11K or 11R on a PSK 802.1X or CloudPath wireless LAN is simple to do using the Ruckus Cloud Wi-Fi portal. You just need to make sure in the 11R case that your clients will support this feature.